um, so a lot has been going on with this ascension and I know that um, it's been pretty hard on a lot of people, you know, a lot of the pains, the coughs, the chest, and the, you know, face breaking out, back pain, sweating, you know, feeling a little crazy. I know depression is kind of a huge theme of what's going on right now, and a lot of um, people feeling like the mold, their old selves, like people feeling the way that they did even like three years ago. Just so everyone knows, a lot of that is happening because it's coming up. For us to completely release it's we we're completely releasing that I, I would like to call it the shadow side like our negative side that we weren't exactly happy about in the past um, that all that stuff is coming up for us to just get rid of and um, you know face it and then let it go so if you're starting to feel a little crazy you're feeling a little um, a little overwhelmed just know um, it's going to start going away sooner than later and everything is going to be okay because we're all going to be okay. Um, that's not what this video is about. This video is about um, being an empath, you know. That's like pretty much the premise of most of my videos and stuff. Um, it's basically about being an empath through this time. Um, so I'm going to start it with, you know, empaths you're based out of your heart. Um, empaths run on pure love. Empaths run on um, just being very emotional, being very sensitive, and there's nothing wrong with that. However, throughout the course of our life, um, empathic people, just because we have a very loving heart and we are more sensitive than your average person, um, I always say a flick in the arm to your average person is like a baseball bat to the arm of an empath, you know. Um, I think in this period, it's going to be very opportunistic for empaths. So as an empath, you spend your life being told you're too sensitive, you're too much, you're crazy, you're dramatic, you're over dramatic, there's something wrong with you, you know. Most empathic uh, people that try to get into relationships, um, they're pushed away very quickly because empaths feel stuff um, sooner than most people. Um, and, and they feel it on a, a far deeper level than, you know, your average person, which causes them to kind of get scared away. But the polarity of that is you don't want to be with somebody that doesn't understand you in that way. Um, but from a young age, um, an empathic person is pretty much told that they're being too sensitive. You know, whether it be, you know, you're really upset about something and your parents tell you, oh, you're being too dramatic. Um, when you first start dating, people telling you, oh, you're too much, you're, you're being over dramatic, you're too sensitive. So the empath, somewhere along the line in their life, decided they weren't good enough. They decided, there is something wrong with me. I'm too much. So what does the empath do? They decide to make their life into pleasing people. So the empath goes from being who they are when they're younger to uh, around, you know, late teens, early 20s, they're feeling like I'm too much. So they live to serve people. So the empath is very easily taken advantage of. The empath is living to be accepted by somebody. They just want someone to tell them they did a good job. So the empath will sit in a relationship and we'll let that person run the show. They'll let that person tell them what to do, tell them this, tell them that, and they'll dedicate their life and lose every part of who they are just to please somebody because A, they want to be accepted, and B, they just want someone else to be happy and they consistently put themselves on the back burner. So during this ascension period, a lot is coming up to help us erase the past from ourselves, um, You know, it takes many years and it takes a lot of self-work to get rid of um, feeling that way and to get rid of being that way towards people and, and um, wanting to just please and be accepted. And, you know, some people, I know I, you know, you take it to an extreme at some points. You, you're kind of like, well, I don't care. If you don't like me, I don't want to be accepted. And, you know, that's just hurting you because you know that it's a lie. Like, you know you want someone to care about you, but 
you don't want to be putting in all the effort into somebody and just be pleasing somebody and leave yourself completely depleted. So when you're going through this phase and you are just wanting to please somebody and you are just wanting to, someone to accept you for who you are and you're working and you're working for someone to tell you good job it's like it's like you're a dog you've made yourself a dog that's in training at this point you're living for the pat on the head um, you're actually working yourself into you know the abused dog you know the abused dog will it'll get hit it'll still go back looking for more love and expect to be pet get hit go away. Did I do good? Did I do good? Pet me. You know, that's all it's looking for. And that's what us as empaths, we make ourselves, we abuse ourselves. We are making ourselves into people that we're living on the premise of needing somebody to accept us. And it, that's, that's wrong. It, it can't be that way. It has to be enough. So when an empath is like that, Energy vampires, negative people, narcissists, sociopaths, they can sniff that out. They know exactly who you are, exactly what you're doing, and those people, the negative people, the friends that drain you, the people that by the time you're off the phone with them or you're not near them anymore, you feel like you want to go to bed for 10 days. Those people are taking advantage of you because they know that you're not going to stand up for yourself and you're not going to set your own boundaries. So... What I want for empaths in this time of ascension where we're ridding ourselves of the past, we're becoming the best people we can be, no more of this, no more energy vampires, no more not having boundaries, no more needing someone to accept you, no more working for someone to approve of you and approve of your actions. As long as you love your actions and you love the person you are, you don't need approval from anybody and you are going to find someone that loves you just the way that you are. Trust me, I'm proof of it. During this ascension time, I want everyone that is an empath and feels that they can relate to this, I want you to take a step back. I want you to get out of that relationship that you're wondering, is, is this the right time? Like, should I break up with this person? Is this person fair to me? He's not. She's not. It's time to leave those relationships where you're living to serve somebody and they're not appreciating you and they're expecting it and you're wanting to do it because you want approval. You are your own approval. You are your own person. It is time to stop with that stuff. The people that take advantage of you, the people at work that take advantage of you, your friends that take advantage of you, people that know that you're just going to be there and you just want to make them happy and you put, themself, put yourself on the back burner. It's enough of that. We cannot move into the fifth dimension and have these wonderful people that are empaths that just want to help this earth and help people. You can't ever again like step into this life and be that person that is just doing so much for people and you're getting nothing in return during this fifth dimensional shift and during this ascension shift i want every empath to find themselves i want every empath every energy sensitive to say enough i want you to do things for yourself spend a week with yourself do stuff for you I want you to find that beautiful voice and realize you are enough and you don't need the approval of somebody. You don't need to work for someone to approve of you. You are not too sensitive. You are not overly emotional. You have a beautiful heart and you are here for a reason and you are here in this time of change. And if somebody doesn't want you because of that, you have to feel sorry for those people because they are missing out on some of the greatest people they could ever know in this lifetime. And there's nothing you could do to make them see that in you because energy sensitives, we vibrate in, in a different, um, I can't even think of the right word. We vibrate in a different vibrational stance than everybody. Our, our vibrations are naturally high. That's why we're able to feel the physical pain of other people, feel the emotional pain of other people, feel what's going on with somebody else as if it's our own, why we're so sensitive, why our hearts are cut so deeply open for people. And your average person can't understand what that's like. That's like us trying to explain what it's like and, and for us and other people just, they, they can't comprehend it. It's, it's just not in their realm of understanding. So, you know, during this fifth dimensional period, this ascension, it's time for you to stand in your power. It's time for you to stand up for who you are, who you want to be. 
It's you need to approve of yourself. You need to, I want everyone to write a list and write a list about themselves, all their beautiful qualities, the things that they do for people, your heart, the kindness you have for people. Because I guarantee the empathic person is one that will drop everything just to help somebody. And the person you may be helping would not drop anything for you. And it's very hard and it's very sad. And it's very hard realizing these people in our lives, but how are we going to be the best person? How are we going to make this world a better place? How are we going to show our hearts and help people if we're constantly being drained or feel like we're in a ball and chain of other people? We need to set the boundaries. You need to set the boundaries for yourself. What you will take, what you won't take. What you will handle, what you won't handle. I've unfortunately, you know, the boundaries I have to set is I wake up to 60 text messages a day. I wake up with anxiety because... You know, I love helping people. Helping people is the reason I'm on this earth. And, you know, the, I've, I really have honed in and embraced why I'm an empath on this earth in this time. But, you know, I have to set the boundaries. And sometimes I won't answer someone for a few days because that day I may not feel up to it and I just can't do it. You need to set the boundaries to have a happy life. You can't just spend this life pleasing people and pleasing everybody else and looking for that approval. You're not a dog. You're not a dog in training and you're not an abused dog. You need to stop abusing yourself and, and holding yourself back from who you really are. And <clears throat> the sad part of it all is most empaths don't know who they are. They are just who they think other people should think they are. They they are, oh, that person said that I'm too sensitive, so now I'm going to be a bitch. Or that person said I, I rushed too quick into relationships, so now I'm just not going to date. Like, you don't know who you are. And, you know, this ascension period, you need to find yourself. You need to say enough is enough. You need to ask the universe. I want to heal. I want to find myself. I want to begin my spiritual journey. I want to understand why I'm an empath. I want to play my part. And you're going to find somebody that vibrationally matches to you. When you're not loving yourself the right way and, and you're an empath and you're living to please other people, that's the tone you're setting out into the vibrational world. So universal law, the, the law of manifestation, you're attracting people that are going to take advantage of you. So you need to find that person and this is the most perfect time period. I want everyone that is an empath that feels this way to go into 2016 and have the life they deserve, have the life that they earned, have the life that they know that they should have as a person. Find your gifts, find your voice. You need to let go of the past. You need to let go of these people. You need to find your place in this world and you need to learn how to ground, how to shield, how to set the boundaries, how to love yourself because loving yourself is first and foremost. It was a lot of work for me to get through all this. It has taken me years and I think I'm finally at the place where I chose me. It was, you know, so many people would come into my life and, you know, I would date someone here and there. And I would realize they were doing this to me. They were trying to make me feel like, like I wasn't good enough. So I chose me. And I needed to do that. It was like, normally the empath, if, if somebody is acting disinterested, they're like, well, what can I do? How can I change? They start morphing into that person. Their likes, they pretend to like stuff that they like. Certain things that they do, they pretend to be interested. You need to be your own person. You need to have your own hobbies. If you're into crystals and you're into cards and you are into meditation, let someone know that about you. Because, I mean, even with my boyfriend, he never really understood any of this. And I, you know, we we had like linked back up in life and I was like, this is who I am. And you know, he will, he will even say this and he said it to me, what he loves so much about me is I am my own person. I am my own person, I found my own way, I found who I am. I mean, what he doesn't understand is how many years it took me to, but you know, it does happen, but it took years of finding my own voice and, and finding myself and no longer needing the approval from other people and knowing that I am a beautiful person for my sensitivity. Me being an empath means I know how to heal. It means I know how to help somebody. It means when someone is crying for help, I can feel it and they don't have to tell me. Those are the ones that need our help, the people that truly need it, not the one that's telling you, something you're into is stupid or oh you're not into this well that's weird because everyone should be and then you find yourself getting into something you're not even really into I mean we've all done it but 
we need to break ourselves out of it. It's, it's, it can't happen anymore as we approach this ascension and as all this ascension is, you know, coming. I, I keep feeling, you know, mid-November, um, everyone's going to start kind of scrambling to find their place with all this. And I think it's going to be really positive. But the main message is no more seeking approval. As an empathic person, you don't need the approval of someone that can never understand how beautiful your heart is. You do not need the approval of somebody that can never understand the gift your sensitivity is to this world. It's time to wake up. It's time to change. It's time to find that inner voice and let that person shine. And I know it seems scary. And I know it's like, well, where do I even begin? Begin with something you want to do. Begin with the next person you talk to, the next person you start dating, be yourself. Talk about things you want to talk about. If they say, oh, let's go do this, and you don't want to do it, say no. Say, you know, I, I don't really feel like doing that. Be who you are. Own your voice. Because too many empaths and too many people I read, they fall into these traps, and then they attract these people that just take such advantage of them and make them feel small when their soul is so large, larger than they could possibly understand, more beautiful than they could possibly understand. It's time to get out of these traps, and it's time to find ourselves, and it's time to really let ourselves be the beautiful person. It's time to be the beautiful person that we were meant to be on this earth. And, you know, all of us have a purpose, especially if you're an empath, you know? You're here to bring, in this time of love, when our earth is shifting, you're here to bring that extra love into this earth. And remember, no matter how much love you give somebody that doesn't love you the right way, they're never going to love you the right way. They may pretend to because they want control over you. When they feel you slipping away, they'll pull you back in. It's called a game. And no more of that. We can't have any more of that. It is time to say enough is enough. It is time to stop looking for the approval. And the only person you need approval of is you. Alright, that was my rant. <laughs> um, I always try and keep these, you know, a little funny. Um... Or, you know, more my personality. But, you know, this is something that's just been, it, it really, it, it does bug me. It does, it bugs me out. Because, I, I mean, I've been there. And, you know, I could say to someone, so I'm blue in the face, like, you need to leave this person. Or, you know, stop looking for that approval. And they're not going to understand it until they truly believe and see themselves for the beautiful person they are. So, you know, really, I want everyone to write a list of, you know... 10 qualities about yourself or, you know, 10 things you've done for somebody that can never repay you. And, you know, that is your superpower. You know, some people's superpower is they're able to listen. Like I told, like I, I, I told my boyfriend, I'm like, he's like, you know, you do all this, you do all this, like you do this for people, you do that for people. I'm like, yeah, but you were the person that let me know that it was okay to be that person. Like his superpower is listening. He listens without judgment, and, and he really listens. And, you know, that's a beautiful trait. Some people may have that. Some people may be a psychic medium or a Reiki. Some people may, you know, have that voice to give somebody. You know, they may be somebody that rescues animals or just does kind things for people. And, you know, that's your superpower. We all have a superpower. And the energy sensitive and the empath it's not meant to be a curse it's meant to be so you could help somebody and you could help them find the love in their heart and find the love in themselves and you know be the voice for them when they can't even express how they're feeling because who better than someone that physically feels it to say i understand all right um sorry um I hope this helps, as always. I hope all my videos help. Um, my video on Ascension is doing pretty good, and, you know, that makes me pretty happy because I really thought everyone was just going to think I'm a nut job, but <laughs> apparently people are interested in what I have to say and, and my little world, so that's really awesome. Um, right now we're in Mercury Retrograde. Uh, it is messing with people. It is. It's bringing people back to a place of... Um, old patterns and old feelings just it's they're coming up to let them go um communications are uh a little rocky um old issues are coming up uh insecurity issues are coming up just let them go they're not real um 
just let it all go and know that it's it's you are powerful enough and you're strong enough to overcome anything that's thrown in your path. And um, I look forward to you know comments and and you know maybe you know everyone email me or uh, Instagram me uh, you know the 15 things you like about yourself and you know write them down. Uh, send them to me on Instagram. I would love to know because, you know, the only way we're going to help this world rise in consciousness is to rise in love. And the best way to rise in love is to rise in love with yourself. And, you know, it's a beautiful time to be alive, like I said in my last video. So, hope it helped. And, um, I'm going to go to the gym because it keeps me sane. Alright? Um, <clears throat> I hope everyone has a excellent day. And, um, I don't know. Email me, write me about, you know, things you'd be interested in me speaking on. Alright, have a good day.